Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Clear skies, very quiet conditions here across the region. We had a beautiful day today, hardly a cloud around. Temperatures in the mid 70s and we'll take you down on the Brazos Valley. We're looking at Texas A&M. We are also looking at clear skies and quiet weather. It's our live Centex roof system sky tracker where the current temperature has been holding pretty steady right around 66 degrees. Winds have been out of the north at six miles per hour. As we uh, check out some other readings, we've got clear skies across the entire state. It is 63 in Mahia, 66 in Gatesville. Waco checks in right at 60 degrees in Comanche, 63 under mostly clear skies. Now here's the drought monitor it comes out every Thursday, as you know, and the update, well, is still showing some colors on top of us. That is for sure. Some uh, moderate drew uh, to uh, severe drought conditions here across parts of our area. We haven't seen much rainfall. We'll have a chance late Sunday into Monday, but I don't know if it's going to do much in the way of help this out down south around Georgetown as you work your way down uh, uh, around the Austin area. It gets real dry down there, severe drought in that region. Now, the forecasted fire danger brought to you by Texas A&M Forest Service. Lots of blue, moderate category for a lot of us. There are a few spots to our west where it's in the high category. Remember, low humidity, dry conditions, no rain in the forecast, and some breezy conditions too. That's what spells recipe for some uh, fires that could, be, could uh, get out of control. The farther off to the east you go, right along I-45, they've had some rainfall, so they're in the, the low category uh, at this time. But high pressure in control, that's what's providing us with the clear skies, the light wind, and yeah, it's gonna get kind of cool here as we hit tomorrow morning across the region. So let me show you what it looks like. This is at 7 o'clock this evening. Skies remain clear. If you have plans to take you out, maybe you're running to do to the uh, grocery store or, or to the gas station, uh, you might need a jacket or at least a hoodie on there. We're going to cool it down by tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the 40s and maybe upper 30s. But as we go throughout the day on Friday, a lot of sunshine will make the 70s for a little bit. But of course, Friday night means high school football and playoff football too and it looks great it'll feel like football finally that's right we're talking about feeling like football weather by early in the morning on sunday a few more clouds roll in here with that moisture and as we go throughout the day on saturday it looks pretty nice i know that there's a game going on down uh, in uh, kyle field there in college, college station we're looking good for that by late sunday into monday though we'll notice a front approaching from the northwest not going to affect us to start off the day, but as we go throughout the day on Sunday, we'll start to see more moisture and our rain chances will start to get higher, especially late Sunday afternoon uh, into Sunday evening. And then that front actually will begin to uh, kick off scattered showers and storms by the morning hour on on Monday and that moves in our direction uh, as we go throughout the late morning into the afternoon. Storm Prediction Center is already keeping an eye on this. This is Monday, a 15% chance of any shower or storm that does develop, especially west of I-35 on Monday, has the possibility of being strong to severe with large hail and damaging winds. And of course, we'll watch that for you. 40 degrees, your nighttime low, and then tomorrow, mostly sunny, about 74 degrees the high. Here's the long range 10 day forecast, 30% chance light on Sunday. There's that front on Monday. And then behind the front, look at the temperatures. Yes, you are looking at that correctly. 50s for highs, lows will be in the 30s. There we go. That should do something to the pollen, hopefully, and the insects around the area and dry conditions. As we uh, check out Brian and College Station, kind of the same story. It looks good for the game. Best chance of rain will come on Monday. We'll watch out for some storms and then much cooler weather, PJ, next week with highs only in the 50s and low 60s. Those lows will drop into the 30s. 30s here. is crazy. 